So this is the Elevated Safety NFPA 1670 Confined Space Rescue Technician class. It's a four-day class where we take guys who have had previous confined space training and give them the highest level of confined space training uh, available. Over two million workers make entry into confined spaces every year in the United States. And as a result, it's inevitable that we're gonna be called to confined space emergencies. So it's critical that these firefighters who are assigned to technical rescue teams who are gonna be asked to perform those rescues gets high level training that mimics real world situations, which is what motivates us to put the class on. Today we have our confined space entry and patient packaging section. Uh, we're going over our supplied air respirators and our escape packs for entry into a confined space into an IDLH environment. What we set up to simulate was this heavy beam on top of a worker that was in here and he was pinned in the beam. So not only did they have to mitigate the hazards of the atmosphere and inside the confined space, but then they had to go ahead and mitigate uh, lifting of that beam and getting the uh, victim out. So a lot of confined space emergencies take place in areas where there may be hazardous materials. And in order for these guys to perform those rescues, they need to have a working knowledge of hazardous materials. We've done a great job of combining the hazardous materials aspect of the class with the rope rescue component and combining that all into the confined space environment. I've never taken a, a hazmat class other than an in incident command hazmat class. So they've done a good job with uh, partnering uh, hazmat techs who've given us some insight on, on monitoring and uh, just basic chemistry and what to look out for and stuff, how to monitor. So that's been, that's probably been my biggest takeaway so far. It's good to know your limitations and if it's something for you, but also you can use this in a lot of different aspects outside of the fire department. Definitely recommend it. Learning a lot, uh, a lot of hands-on activity. Uh, newest inventory, uh, newest cache of materials to use. I think it's very worthwhile for other firefighters to take. If we're actually going to do a rescue and not a recovery, we need to be fast and we need to be proficient at this, at this skill. 